Uh, not being far from where they made landfall there in Tustine Hatchet, which was also kind of a change where we were watching the areas here for Taylor County, which is where Perry is, came in just shy of that into Levy County, closer to Horseshoe Beach. Uh, considerations here for our inland areas, the locally heavy wet weather has started to move away, but as you can see, and I'll just touch into areas around Live Oak, this is where we have that emergency, potentially even some catastrophic flooding coming through, and I want to clear this out and show you that this looks like so this is where it continues to have that path cutting through areas of Columbia County. If I was to draw sort of where the center would be, it looks like and it's even got a little bit of a curvature here as we get into Columbia County just to the north of I-10 and US-90. So I wanted to show you this as I was sitting there watching it into do, using the same idea that we were just um, tracking just a minute ago. And when we're talking about the red versus green, the positive numbers versus those of negative going away from the radar coming toward the radar. That's a really good example, but the reason I brought you here is just watching this spot here where we're still closer to what would be the center of circulation in and around um, Columbia County, the potential for what would be anywhere between 40, even some of those 50 mile an hour wind gusts. And that's what we've seen thus far. I think it was NAS Jacks uh, where we picked up one that was at 58 miles an hour. Some of the peaker and brighter winds here to the south are also still showing what could be the potential. Now, if I move this over to velocity, you'll see where we cut down to what would be uh, bringing in some of the friction, the ground influence here. So more realistically, what we're going to see that would be closer to our winds, uh, at least for overnight and heading into the evening, will start to come down to these 30, 40 mile an hour gusts, which still could be problematic and even potentially damaging now that we've seen quite a bit of the wet weather and our ground cover is getting pretty saturated. Areas that I'm watching right now, moving through parts of Nassau County here, Hilliard, Callahan, all the way up into Folkston. We're just watching these, not so much it's just the heavy rainfall that's coming through, but as it's moving across areas of US-1 just to the south of Highway 301, it's these areas that have also harbored some really gusty wind that can catch you off guard even without the lightning as it uh, continues to come through. All right, our tornado watch was also updated. What was expiring here across our inland areas at four o'clock moved over toward our coastal zones and that is going to continue through six o'clock. Now added to that list is Southeast Georgia and the concern on top of what will be the tornado watch here is that heavy wet weather that is currently in Columbia and across all of Baker County is now lifting into areas of Western Duval County, Nassau County, Charlton County and is going to continue through Kansas Camden and Glenn moving through southeast Georgia for what would be some of the potential of another three to five inches on top of what has already come through. This is the two o'clock update. The next full update will be back here when we see you at five o'clock and the National Hurricane Center, I think, has put the footprint here on the stamp, if you will, that they're going to follow the Euro model and kind of leave the GFS behind. Although what we're seeing is some of that GFS influence, the lack of the steering wind and seeing it slow down to what is now single digits down to as little as seven miles per hour. The slower this goes, they start to expand, they start to unwind, and now we have the potential for what would be more of a widespread swath of wet weather. This zipped by much more than what I wanted to here. I just wanted to show you Tuesday night into, or Monday night rather, into Tuesday, but we're still seeing what could be that additional three to as much as five to six inches of rain with Brunswick still leading what could be as much as another seven inches on top of what you've already seen. We've got crews that are in place, some that are actually on the way, St. Simons, Brunswick, where we'll be tracking that rainfall here, even into Baker County overnight tonight. 90% is going to continue as most of us have already maxed out at 100%. We're starting to see those values drop off to the west of us here. So well, that's why we're at 90%. We'll wake up to widespread chances on Tuesday, but I do think, Tark, that we'll be bringing down those rain chances here as we look ahead to Wednesday and a pattern that looks a little bit better as we dry out toward the end of the week. More than news at four after the break.